Alright, hey everyone. Uh, I'm going to make this video today to show you my version or my homemade version of the popular Typhon Reef LED controller. Um, <coughs> the Typhon uh, is a pretty amazing controller. Um, basically, I just needed something to control the LEDs on the array that I just built. Um, and the Typhon ended up being a pretty perfect match just because uh, it has four channels of dimming control and uh, it has a, a it's programmable so that you can um, you know dim it to various intensities and it has a clock on it so you can run it for you know however long you want every day. Um, the Typhon you can actually buy already assembled uh, or you can actually uh, send off a, a file and have a custom circuit board made for you and shipped to you and then you just order the the other components yourself and assemble it all or uh, this is the method that I chose you can actually take just a regular Arduino and you can build the controller yourself using the Typhon code which is open source available to anybody so here I'll kinda show you some of the components of the build um, let me switch to my macro mode here. Um, the the really the components are, are very simple. Um, first, you just need a regular Arduino board. Uh, this is uh, an older one. I think it's from 2008 or 2009. Uses the AT Mega 168 chip. That's the older version. Um, you could use a newer one as well. That would work just fine. Uh, you'll need a standard LCD display, not a serial display or anything fancy like that. Um, and then you'll need a DS1307 real-time clock. You'll need some momentary push buttons and some 10K ohm resistors. And you'll need a bunch of wires. And that is about it. So the, the components are very simple for this controller. Um, now I'll show you a little bit about the... Uh, there we go. Uh, about the actual LED array. Um, you'll see here it's mounted on a 24 inch T-slot heat sink. Uh, when I say T-slot heat, heat sink, um, if you look at it down here, you'll see these little grooves and the grooves you actually slide a nut and a bolt or a screw into these grooves and use that to hold down the LEDs. Um, it's a pretty cool little system and it works really well back out here. Um, now, uh, the array itself is composed of 46 LEDs. Uh, there are, and, and those are, uh, those are divided up into four channels. The first channel is going to be 16 royal blue LEDs. The second channel is going to be eight neutral white LEDs. The third channel is going to be eight violet LEDs, and the fourth channel is going to be comprised of uh, three different colors, four deep red, four turquoise or cyan, and six cool blue. When you combine those colors, it produces a whitish color, um, a, a white light, I should say, and it's commonly referred to as ocean coral white. Uh, the driver it's, or the array itself is powered by my power supply over here and uh, four Meanwell LDD drivers. Um, these are pretty cool. They're really small. There's actually four of them here, one of them for each channel. Um, so that's the array itself. Now I wanted to go through and kind of show you some of the functions of the actual uh, unit. So. Uh, let me kind of situate this so that you can you can see what's going on here. Um, essentially, this is the home screen. You'll notice here's the time, and then down here is the uh, intensity of each channel, whatever you set it at. Um, I'll use my push buttons here, and I'm going to go ahead and scroll through the menu. Um, there is a manual override mode uh, where you can. Sorry about that. There's a manual override mode here where you can actually turn the LEDs on, uh, just you know, 
one percent at a time. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Um, Sorry, my microphone's kind of has it out. Um, so that is the manual mode. Um, then there is timer mode, all on and all off. Each channel has a start time, an end time, a fade duration. That's the time in hours and minutes that the uh, LEDs will go from zero or off until the inten maximum intensity that you set. And then there's the maximum intensity. So each channel has those same options. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you each channel uh, uh, on, you know, at a time. So you can just see what it looks like. So here is oh, oh I have to set it to uh, timer mode. Okay, so I'm at my timer mode, and the royal blue channel is on right now. That's the only thing that's on. Um, now I'm going to turn on the neutral white channel. So now the royal blue and the neutral white channels are on. Then here is the violet. You can kind of see them coming on there. And then finally the ocean coral white channel. Uh, reverse order. Let's turn off the blues. Now we'll turn off the neutral whites. Turn off the. Here I'll turn it into. Uh, there we go. Turn off the violets, and now we'll turn off everything. Reverse order, ocean coral white, violet, neutral white, and royal blue. So anyways, that's, uh, that's the controller. Um, I just wanted to show you that it worked and how it worked. And um, really, it's, it's not too hard at all to build one of your own. Um, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and see the thread, which I'll post in a link. Thanks. Bye.